Oh, and have you ever asked yourself how damaging jealousy can be? Have you ever checked around you and see what jealousy has caused or made you to become? Or someone that you know become in life? People usually say that the love of money is the root of all evil. But I want to add to that, that of a truth, the love of money is the root of all evil. But jealousy is the root of great wickedness. Hello there. You're welcome to my YouTube channel again today. I know you guys are having a wonderful weekend today. Please, if you've not yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, just click on the button below and subscribe. Like the video. Make comments on the comment box. And please, don't forget to share with your friends. And today on the show, I want to talk about a topic I titled, Jealousy is a Dangerous Pill. It is a pill that it is not encouraging or advisable for anyone to swallow. Because it's as deadly as COVID-19 virus. And so my name is Juliet Amos and I am your host and this is Coffee Time with Juliet. Come let's have a cup of coffee while we discuss about this topic. Oh, oh. You're welcome back. Today, like I said, I want to talk about jealousy. Jealousy is one deadly and dangerous pill anyone can swallow. You know, I talk about these topics because these are part of the things that affected my life. You know, I used to have friends way back. They would come close, act like though they are in love, like I like this person as a friend. But when you have a little opportunity in life. You are not rich or you don't have money. Mm -hmm. But when you have a little opportunity that can showcase you to some extent, oh goodness, you begin to understand the kinds of friends that you have around you. Now, a lot of us overlook these things. But believe me, sweetie, this is one of the reasons why so many people are struggling in life. If you have people around you who exhibit jealousy, stay away from them. Now, what are the causes of jealousy? Number one, when you start telling people about your night vision, you start telling friends about your night vision, and that person will sit down and begin to wonder, so this is the thing, how can you be better than me? How can God put this kind of gift or talent in this person, how can God decide to give this person these blessings? So, sweetie, the only way you can avoid it to some extent is to keep your mouth shut. Shut the door. I can tell you that by keeping your secret, you will completely stop people from being envious of you or from getting jealous of you. No, because people can actually je be jealous of you because of the way you dress. They can be jealous of you because of the way you talk. They can be jealous of you when they see your skills. When you are in your place, when you are displaying your skills. People can be jealous of you for no just reason. Then my point number two. Jealousy can come up when a friend starts seeing you as a competitor. For example, I've been in a place where I was given an opportunity to be like a youth vice president and then I had a friend who was supposed to work hand in hand with me. She got angry every now and then. It's not like I'm jealous of you. It's not like I'm jealous of you. But if I'm the one given that opportunity to be in that position, I would have done it better. Sometimes we take this word for granted like me. I took it for granted. But you know what? It went further than what I'm talking about. It became a dangerous game. Just because they just said for a while, 
just ask like a youth president why you are the vice because the president wasn't around. It became a dangerous game. It became something <laughs> that if they have allowed them, they will go as far as taking a person's life from that person. So when you meet people who exhibit those kind of natures around you, because you have been given opportunity, the person will tell you, ah, if I'm to be the one in your shoes, I would have done it better than you. It's not like I'm jealous of you, but I don't think you can do it better than me. Stay away from such people. Although, like I said earlier, you cannot completely cut off jealousy because people can just be envious of you for no just cause. Then my point number three, what are the causes of jealousy? Jealousy can start when somebody starts feeling as though that they are far, far better than you. You don't have a right to tell them what to do. You don't have a right over them. Yes, of the truth. We usually don't have a right over anybody. But sometimes destiny can give you a right over a person. What am I talking about? I'm talking about leadership. If God has placed you to be in a position where you will rule, you don't have a choice than to do what you got to do. Then when you have people around you who says maybe they are older than you or you're younger than them, or maybe they think they have been in that place before you came and they start telling you that, how can you just come to this place and they want to make you a ruler over me that is not possible me that you are working with or something and you want to be leading people will say look at the person working with you is doing this thing and you are not doing it stay away from such people believe me beloved this world is too confusing for people to start adding problems to your life Stay away from such people. They are not going to benefit you in any way. They are not going to add value to your life. They are just there. They are just there. They are just there. There are some people that are just there in our lives. They are just there. The, the, the time or the moment you will start getting to know their true color is when you are about to attain something. The thing might not even be big, but then they will exhibit themselves. So when you are so fortunate enough to see people like that, stay away from them. They are evil personified, some of them. They tell you, how can you? You see that word, how can you? When a person uses such words to qualify a thing for you, just know that some of those people are not just physical. They go beyond saying what they have said to you. Some people are evil personified. Stay away from them before it becomes dangerous to your destiny. Because jealousy is one thing that can terminate a person's glory. When a person is really envious of you, jealousy can push a man into doing anything evil towards another person. If you see people exhibiting such evil and negative attitude around you, stay away from them. My point number four, when somebody starts feeling that you don't have what it takes to be what's the opportunity you have been given. Okay, you don't have what it takes. Even if you don't have what it takes, you can always learn on your job. That is what I believe. Sometimes God gives us an opportunity in order for us to understand that there is something unique he has placed in us. You know you can naturally be somewhere and you don't know that the other thing you have, you've been avoiding or that you've not been opportune to undo is something you can really take care of. So sometimes God gives us this opportunity for us to understand that this ability is lying dormant inside of you. Then when you get people who say you are not qualified to even try or to even occupy the position that you have been given, sweetheart, stay away from such people, no matter who they are. They mean no good, they can never mean good for you, they can never mean well. If the things start hurting them so much, they can go to the extreme. Do you know, there is a reason why God said that we shouldn't tell lies. 
Because there are lies that a jealousy person can cook up that can destroy a person's destiny for good. And sometimes when a destiny is tarnished, it takes time to amend it. I tell people experience is the best teacher, but sometimes it's not good for you to be the experienced. Learn from people's mistakes. Learn from people's experiences and carve out your way from it because if you happen to be the experience yourself you might not live to tell the story that is life for you and then my last point today which is my point number five if you are around people who will say to you that uh, maybe whenever they want you see some friends will actually tell you that uh -uh, you know you are into a particular trade that friend would prefer to go and get that thing that you are doing outside other than to patronize you. It is a sign of jealousy, envy, wickedness. Now, if your friend peradventure gets to know that they need somebody in that field and that place where they need that person is going to open more doors and make you something in life. Instead of her to call you and she's telling you she's your best friend. No? She comes around you, you tell her all your secrets or whatever. Instead of her, to take you to that place, she will recommend the job to somebody else because she cannot do it and she does not want you to do it. There are friends that when they see that they need somebody and you are good for that thing, instead of them to say, ah, my friend, though, look, they will go out and help the person to look for it. They will personally go out and help the person to look for that thing and come back and tell you how they went about it. Have you ever encountered such friends? They will do it knowing that you are doing it. They will do it because there is no way you would even know that there was, or oh, there is a company that called out for something, or somebody somewhere needs something. They will actually go out, go and look for a person, give it to those people, and come back and tell you about it. They don't give a hoot how you feel or how you're going to feel about it. They will tell you. And then you begin to ask yourself, like, seriously. Is it that you don't know that I do this thing? Or then why are you coming back to tell me? They just want to mock you. If you ever have people like that around you, believe me, sweetheart, it is very dangerous to your destiny. This is the reason why so many people struggle with their destiny. This is the reason why so many people struggle with confusion in, my, in, in dreams. Ah, I dream I can't remember it. One thing or the other is as a result of such people around you. They are evil personified. Jealousy is a root of great wickedness. We can avoid it though, but you cannot avoid it 100%. Because even people around your area, some people there can just see you and just hate you. And they will be jealous of you because of the way you look. The way you look. But if paraventure you have them close to you, stay away from them because it is dangerous to your destiny if they cannot kill you if they cannot harm you they can harm your destiny that is causing delay in your life causing backwardness causing limitations causing failure promise and fear near success syndrome they are the people that sponsor such demons in the life of a person I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode and I want to say a very big thank you for joining me today and please if you've not yet subscribed just click on the red button below and subscribe please like the video comment if there is something you have to add to this because this kind of topics are usually broad we can always revisit it because we can't finish talking about everything people have issues people have their own areas of uh, experiences when it comes to each topic here yeah. You understand me? Even me that I'm talking to, it's very possible that you have your own experience based on what we're discussing today. So please, drop your comment on the comment box and don't forget to share with your friends. I remember Juliet Amos, your most precious, sexy, be bold and beautiful. <laughs> the queen of all queens, I am your host and I will remain your favorite. Take care of yourself and have a fantastic weekend. Bye for now.